Hi Cancers, this is your monthly reading for February 2018. So let's tune in, February 2018. Cancer, February 2018. So the guys are showing me this image of you guys holding your arms out, like kind of like the sound of music and spinning around. But some of you are like spitting out, like almost like um, like a top. So yeah, let's see what that exactly means. So it's it appears to be that you're free, but there's this burnout um, that's happening, <clears throat> like burning the candles at both ends. Uh, see what we have for cancer February 2018 yeah so a lot <laughs> exactly very first card I pulled out is the card related to just doing too much uh, not enough help so um, yeah so definitely beginning of the month you know there's a little bit of burnout that could set in so um, not enough leisure time and uh, just working too many hours, trying to please too many people, trying to do too much. So keep that in mind, beginning of the month. Um, take more time for yourself if you can, just for completely non-business or house-related activities, like go for coffee with a friend just to talk, like not just for you to kind of have a break. You do need more of a break at the beginning of February. Um, I do feel like you're worrying quite a bit about, you know, if the seeds you've planted in the past, particularly pertaining to your career, if they are, um, you know, or if they're going to blossom. So um, right here at the at the new moon at February 15th, 16th, you're going to realize like, you know what, my plans are working out fine. It's just going to be kind of like this overnight epiphany. You're going to go from being worried about everything to just being like, everything's fine time to celebrate that's when things are gonna really pick up things are gonna start moving you're gonna feel like everything's falling into place so that's a really nice thing cancers to have mid-month uh, and to have that solar eclipse in Aquarius benefit you and your ability to see what's actually reality because the beginning of the month it kind of starts off rough I, I feel like the, one of the reasons you're doing so much is just to compensate for your mind and worrying it kind of makes you feel like you're in control to clean and do too many things it keeps your mind off of what's really bothering you um, so there's better ways you know that you can you can do that I do feel like you need to make a list if you can at the beginning of the month of all the things you want to accomplish because once things start to speed up you're really not going to have time for that um, there's definitely something better waiting for you and you're going to start that path around the last week of February. I, I feel like you're going to be drawn to a community of people, like-minded people. Definitely push yourself out of your comfort zone, get out of your house, um, get out of those routines because at the end of the month, um, you're going to be surrounded by some really awesome people, maybe some new teachers, mentors. Um, just checking if I missed anything, Cancer. Is there any other advice we need for Cancer for the month of February? Yeah, I mean, you're on fire, Cancer, for this month, so that's really awesome. Um, you're going to attract some helpful people. Just keep that in mind when you're at the beginning of the month and you feel like you have no one. By the end of the month, you're not going to be feeling that at all. You're going to be feeling pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, awesome. I will see you next month, month of March. If you do want to book a reading with me, uh, contact me through the YouTube channel. Um, I do Skype, phone, and in-person readings if you're in Nova Scotia, Halifax. And the turnover time is about five to seven days. You know, bear with me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And that's about it. Subscribe to my channel. Share it with any other Cancerians that you know. And I do all of the signs, so check that out. And I also do weekly tarot as well. So check that out as well. Take care.